Stadium in Tampa, Florida. Today, we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the Green Bay Packers and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Here's the punter, Jake Camarda, set to do the honors, and off we go now from Tampa. And we will not get a run back here to start. It's a touchback, and it will come out to the 25. Right to the air is Rodgers. He has it complete to Christian Watson. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. An early statement on the game's first play. 18 yards and a first down. Now the man from UTEP, this is Aaron Jones. A determined run there as he's going to take this all the way down near the 40. 16 more on that one and another first down. Well, no slow start here. A couple nice chunk plays back to back. I love the momentum that they're showing here early because they did it both ways, right? Threw the ball on first down for a nice chunk of yardage. Came right back and ran the ball. Looks like they got the defense set back on their heels. Let's see if they can keep this moving. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. And they'll keep on the ground with Jones. And he'll take this one down to about the 40. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Again, it's Jones. for him already a terrific opening drive on the ground and it's a first down you were telling me this yesterday this is exactly what they want to do on the opening drive establish the ground game yeah remember our conversation we were talking about with one of the gms in the league, telling me repeatedly it's a big man's game it's not necessarily size he's talking about playing some big boy football line up get leverage knock people back and establish the run order Showed off the toughness, but still corralled shy of the five at the six. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. They'll try and run for it with Jones. And he's going to be a yard short. A two-yard pickup leads to fourth and one. They'll run it with Jones. He didn't get the touchdown, but he did get the first down as he's tackled at the one. Now Jones. And he'll take this one in for a Packer touchdown. Jones taking it in from a yard out. And the Packers are on the board first here on the road in Tampa. Matt LaFleur, he tells the offense, stay out there, go for two. Rodgers will throw for it. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. They had that great, long, methodical drive to put in the end zone, and then they try to bite off a little more and get eight points. Instead, they're sitting at six. But didn't that feel like a decision that they made on Tuesday? Yeah. yeah. Well, you usually say yeah, that's what they do, right? right. That, that's the best one. The best ones do that. They take the emotion out of it. That felt like that was scripted. Hey, if we score in the opening drive, we're going to go for two and try and really gain an advantage. And Brady and the Buccaneers here, first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll start the drive with a give to White. Nice 
his way forward here, but just three yards on the play, second down. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. What I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up the touchdown. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped it. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. The offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. After the delay, they're backed up even further for third and long. Snap comes at one, and it's Brady. And that is incomplete. No surprise at all. They're looking for the big man early in this one. The only surprise for them, he couldn't hang on to the pass. Man. 
Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. And not much on this one. Take now a hit and a loose football. So a teammate picking him up there, that was nearly disaster. And the way that you coach these things, you want to make sure you have eyes towards the return guy because you want to make sure that the catch is secure. A lot of teams do that. They have at least one guy. Okay, you're responsible for making sure he secures the catch. He's not always the one that makes the recovery, but he can always sound out the alarm. Hey, ball's on the ground. We've got to get it back. The Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. And they're in an early hole. The first drive, they threw the interception. That led to a touchdown. So, decent-sized deficit early on. It is, but I think you hit the key words early on. So, they have to decide, do we even need to change game plan? Or do we just need to execute better and try and get back in this game? Looking to throw on second down. Brady, airing this one out for Evans. And he knocks the ball away and falls in completely. I like the fact that he took the shot deep downfield. Even if you don't get the catch, maybe you get a defensive penalty and pick up the yardage that way. They come up to the line now facing a third and ten after the incompletion. Here's Brady. Intercepted. Picked off by Jair Alexander. And the Packers are going to take possession of the football. And I think this is a situation where quarterback coaching the sideline is going to talk to a single caller and say, listen, it's 30 now and it's still early in the game. Let's not force things here. If we don't feel good about it, let's just check something down and pump the football. Meanwhile, Rodgers throw complete here on target to Tunja. Now first and 10 at the 11. Here's Rodgers. And Watson has it right side. Touchdown! Aaron Rodgers finding Christian Watson. And the Packers are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Extra point up and good by Crosby. And it's now 21 to nothing. Boy, I guess they're going to keep trying to put the pedal to the metal here. They're going to try an onside kick. And they've got it. They recovered it. But hang on now, though. There's a penalty flag down. Yeah, you got to wait until that ball goes 10 yards. They did not. They hit it before, and that draws the flag every time. And there's no doubt in my mind that converting an onside kick has never been tougher in the NFL with the new rules. So trying to get it to 10 yards, timing up perfectly, that's tough enough to begin with. But when you go ahead and grab it before it goes, you've got no shot then. Brady deferring to White on the draw. And they'll get him down here at about the 42. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Second down and three. Inside hand on the down Just a couple on the pickup there, and now it's third down. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties and the better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? Heavy set out there on third and one. They'll try and run for it with Fournette. And he's brought down, but not before picking up the first with a very effective stiff arm. So that, that was a very nice play, Charles, from a very speedy quarterback. And sometimes all of your best laid plans of play design, your X's and O's, they can't always account for individual effort defensively. And this was one of those times. Just a terrific play to hustle over there and get the running back to the ground. Now they'll throw with Brady. And Brady going to be intercepted a third time. 
take possession of the football. Stop recording. Weapon. Press cross.